Good to count down anytime. Alright, uh, you ready? Yep. Alright, three, two, one, go. Alright, this is System Shock. Uh, this is the best video game ever made. Uh, right now, I'm just going around picking up stuff that I absolutely need to finish this run. Uh, you start out with a starting cabinet of stuff like an email reader, but you don't need any of that stuff to actually finish the game. We have a stamina meter in this game, but it's not the invisible because I'm not playing with the sense around dog on. So j just assume that I'm going to be running out of breath, but uh, I'm injecting myself with steroids so I can go faster. Alright, there's the first glitch of the game. Uh, you can put through pretty much every door in the game if you save and... Uh, you don't even need to load, you just need to save as you run up into a door. It's actually pretty precise, but I mean, I've, it's not unwieldy precise. Alright, I'm getting ammo off of these guys. That guy that I just killed earlier always drops, uh... Whatchamacallit? Standard rounds, and the other guy drops Teflon rounds. Alright, now we have roller skates, so we don't have to worry about stamina anymore. Uh, I am saving right here because this is honestly the biggest room set point in the run. I'm gonna go in here, uh, destroy all this stuff, get a pistol, and hope I don't get screwed on the way out. Alright, looks like I got a decent ish pattern. Alright, we're good. Yeah, that's uh, this full screen. Og if you have that active. I don't like playing with that on, because I don't think it really adds anything. Alright, second floor. Oh, by the way, that first floor, uh, we're supposed to do a lot of stuff on it, but uh, we kind of skipped everything by going really fast. So we're going to be uh, hitting a cyborg conversion chamber. Uh, Shodan has set this station up so that when people die, they uh, turn into cyborgs. But instead, we get into a jelly vat and we turn back into normal humans. So we use those as respawn points, and they're on specific floors, but you have to activate them first. More clipping through doors. Alright, that's actually really bad luck. Uh, I was hoping to get some drops off those guys. Alright, here we're picking up a radioactive isotope that we need to use later on to trigger the shields. And now we head over to the reactor floor. On the first floor, medical, I picked up a key card that'll allow me to get into the uh, medical area on this floor, which is really important because I need to be able to flip this conversion. Cyborg conversion cancelled. Standard station restoration procedures online. And here I'm just sniping these guys around the corner. Uh, those enemies are hoppers and they will tear you up. Shield generator. Radiation. Anyway, we turn shield on the shields. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to change it so that the shield is going to uh, be fired into by a laser. Also, I'm going to save here because it's every now and then it's fusing up. Alright, we're good. And now that we have disengaged the uh, laser safety, we are going to fire the laser into the shield and it's going to blow up and Shodan can't use it anymore. I don't think I got that door clip. Yeah. Alright. So Shodan's gonna try to ambush us in here, but if we're fast, like, we don't need to worry about anything. Alright, 
Alright, and Shonen's gonna say, like, haha, I knew where you were going, but of course, we knew that she knew where we were going. So we just respawned at the chamber that we flipped earlier. Alright, now we're on to floor th uh, third floor, which is maintenance. I can get into here, Jesus. Uh, this is already not going to be world record pace because I had to heal more on floor one than I wanted to. But thankfully I know where backup health is, it just takes a little while to get. Get up there, Jesus. Alright. Uh, this door clip, for some reason, uh, this is a really funky door clip. Uh, I use my gun as a light to kind of just gauge my distance from it, and then I kind of just pray. Alright, that's an invisible mutant. It's not quite invisible, but it has a lot of health, and it deals a lot of damage. So you kind of just don't want to screw with it. Uh, this weapon I have right here is a lightsaber. And I'm going to be just picking up that back of health that I was mentioning earlier. This lightsaber is extremely powerful. It can two-shot most enemies in the game. Alright, I pressed the wrong floor button. Uh, I don't really practice going to this backup health, so excuse me if this looks kind of sloppy. Unfortunate. Alright, we're good. We should be good here. I'm gonna save just in case, because if I get hit by this guy, I have no other health to get. And there is an area coming up where I'm pretty much guaranteed to lose health. And if I lose more than any health that I have right now, uh, the run will be over. Uh, uh, we'll risk it. Alright, uh, behind this door are three fairly tough enemies. Alright, we got really lucky and we managed to bounce in between one of them, so we were normally supposed to take two shots Cyborg of damage there, canceled. but we only took one. Standard station restoration procedures online. So the run has permission to continue. Uh, we flipped the conversion chamber and now we're going to go flip a switch. Uh, on this floor, what we have to do is we have to flip three uh, switches inside of these groves, which are basically, you know, little gardens in space. Because we need to eject one of them, because Shodan is using it for science experiments. Wow, I got taken off a lot of damage on those guys. That's unfortunate, but not a huge deal. Okay, so we're headed over to the second grove. Killing this stuff on my way. Because they don't want to get shot by this stuff. Safety now I want to get shot by this guy. Safety. So that he will respawn me. Uh, the third grove I'm going to, Beta Grove, which is the one that we actually eject. It's different than the other groves. And that if you die in it, you actually just get a game over. It doesn't matter if you flip the converter on the floor. Why do you miss me? Alright, whatever. That's probably not gonna make it. Nope, we got... Man, my joystick's plugged in, I forgot. Alright. I knocked my controller on the floor, and for some reason this game has a joystick support, even though, like, 
It makes no sense for System Shock to have joystick support. Alright, uh, this Beta Grove went really well, so we'll get out of here pretty quick. And then because we just want Death Warp, we throw a grenade at ourselves and we blow up. Alright, so we got those three Groves switched, and now we can float the Master Jettison. Or Master Jettison Enable. And we're going to be fighting a mini boss, but we're going to be going through his area in the reverse way, so the game doesn't really know what to do. Uh, we actually just clipped into this area to go through it in complete reverse. And uh, this is Diego. He's the guy. That, he's the guy who brought us to the space station. We're just gonna shoot him a couple times, and he's gonna die. Uh, this weapon I should mention is the Mag Pulse, and it is very, very powerful. The fact that uh, I got so much health taken off of me that I'm just gonna get something to kill me pretty quick. Because there's no way I'm going to be able to do the max section without taking damage. One. Well, I hate to do this because it's a marathon run, but whatever, we'll just steal. Alright. This area can be very scary because it's random the number of mutants that spawn in here, and these guys hit you for quite a lot of damage. So if you get very unlucky, you get like six of them in there, and you just can't make it to the switch before dying. Anyway, now we have finished up with Executive, we're going to be going to Engineering. Uh, we're supposed to be doing a giant sequence of blowing up antennas that Shodan doesn't download herself to Earth. But that takes too long, as is a common theme in this speedrun, so we are just going to be using our good friend the door clip to get through. Here we go. Uh, the door clip, I should mention, should also... Uh, it can also get you through uh, slope surfaces. Also, that's pretty bad. Uh, am I going to be okay from this? Yes, sorry. So, this slope surface over here, I'm just going to crouch and then I'm going to run into it. And congrats, I've been flipped through it. Alright. Security is of mean level. I don't think that made it through. Yeah, I didn't even uncrouch. Alright, good. That's a very hard door to get through because you have almost no way to maneuver to get up enough speed to actually cut through it. Uh, security, you're supposed to be doing a lot of stuff on this floor, but uh, it's slow to do that, and we just died. Thankfully, I know that area is tricky, so I saved. Wow, that's a very unfortunate look. I only readjust my position slightly. This is really odd. It usually wants to sh push you downwards instead of pushing you to the side or above. made it that time. I swear, this trick isn't actually super hard, it's just you do it in a little bit of an unobvious way. So you can skip the entire floor, and that's pretty nice. Alright, we are now officially completely out of health and out of healing items. Uh, I do know where to get some more if like, I really need to, but uh, we're probably going to be okay. I just clipped through this door. I got my health taken off quite a bit, but I think I can make it in the last area. Alright, this area is supposed to be really scary, because uh, it's filled with warriors, but if you just hack yourself into a cyberspace terminal, uh, they can't damage you for some reason. Anyway, get ready for time, it's coming up fairly soon. So now we're left with our final objective, and that is just purging Soden from the space station system. And we go into cyberspace to do that. Uh, Shodan's gonna be this weird virusy looking thing. 
And uh, she kind of fucks with your controls as you shoot at her, but if you just keep on on the mouse button and just keep fiddling around, you're good. Also, time. Alright, yeah, 1450. Alright, considering the mistakes that run had, that's pretty good. Yeah. Uh, I, f I neglected to mention, but I probably got world record in the practice run I did before going live with this stream. But I don't have video evidence of it, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> anyway, thanks for having me on. Uh, you can watch this fancy cutscene of 3D graphics and stuff that's not really mentioned in the game. You can check our in-game time, etc. There's something really weird with this game, which is when you close out of it, it doesn't act you can't actually close out of it. Uh, when you finish the game, it just it, it automatically closes for you. All right. So I'm gonna stop streaming now. All right. This will transition over then.